So the big question is this, how do small businesses like yours, who feel like you're doing all the right things and going to all the right events, reach the federal buyer in a way that helps you win more contracts? That is the question, and this is the place to get your answers. My name is Neil McDonald. Welcome to the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Okay, let's get started. In today's video, I want to give you just a quick example of how I go about finding out the amount of money the government spends on a particular need. In my particular case, um, what I would sell. Uh, let's let's talk about cybersecurity today. That's my example. And then the other is how do I find out some of their challenges, priorities, etc. I've talked about a lot of different documents today. I want to go into um, a budget, but before I do, I just want to show you. So this is for um, Homeland Security, Department of Homeland Security. I'm using them as an example. Uh, I've got a customer who's trying to go in there and um, they've got a lot of experience, but DHS is new for them. So they, they want to figure out how do they get in there and how, how do they start doing their homework? Anyway, so one document definitely want to take a look at are documents like this. Um, this one's called the FY 2020 Agency Financial Report. This is one of three documents uh, that DHS puts out um, as part of their annual report. And so this is for the previous fiscal year, FY 2020. It's full of a ton of good information. So go find this and take a look at it. Um, in any agency that you're in, they all have to do annual reports. So when you target your primary agency, go find these documents. Um, this particular one's 250 pages. And so I'm assuming you're probably looking at 500 to 700 pages. But here's the thing. You don't have to read every word. Just scroll through, find the stuff that pops out and moves you forward in your process a little bit. And you know, each time you need to, you can come back and reference this. Read it, read it more like a uh, reference document than a, a fascinating book. Okay, so the part I really wanted to show you, though, for DHS is in cybersecurity, I have customers constantly who are um, pursuing cybersecurity work and they can help the government. And so in this particular case, CISA, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, has got their FY 2021 budget out from um, a while ago, right? They submitted it so they could get money for this fiscal year. And I wanna scroll down and show you um, some just some things in here that I quickly grabbed. There's 370 pages, right? But you don't have to look at all of them. Again, a bunch of them are just designed as, as uh, information for Congress as they shape up the budget for the entire federal government. But one thing that caught my eye right away, right, is, is the strategic context. Anytime I see strategy, strategic, I wanna follow it because it's telling me what are you running into and what do you see for the future? And as sellers, small businesses, right, we wanna help the customer with the future. We're not really trying to solve the past. Um, and so I wanna pursue that. So let's just go ahead and click on it. And I clicked on here and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And as I come down, there's some interesting things. You can read this stuff. Um, but the part that really mattered to me is where I saw strategic measures. And the reason this is important to me is they're measuring themselves. In this case, the percent of critical vulnerabilities identified through high value asset assessments mitigated within 30 days. So how, what percentage of these issues are they mitigating or solving within 30 days, right? If you got a problem, did you fix it within 30 days? And so here I, I'm able to see, they just started doing this in FY 2020. I'm highlighting too much, but you can see here 70%, 75%. That's their goal. And the TBD means they haven't even measured themselves on this yet. So this would be really interesting. And, and the reason I'll tell you, I like this and I see it and I wanna ask questions about it is, I might go in and say, hey, I was looking at the budget. You know, Say I'm talking to somebody who's in that IT space, director of IT, director of cyber, whatever. I was looking at the budget and I noticed you guys are tracking um, the turnaround time of issues or vulnerabilities that are, are identified. Um, how are you doing on that? Where are you? I know the target is 70% and you can start asking questions. And in this uh, paragraph, you get a lot of information, but watch what you see as I start coming down, right? More of these measures. So here I'm looking at this measure and it's the percent of vulnerabilities identified through cyber hygiene scanning um, mitigated within the designated time frame. let's say 30 days. Um, the part that really catches my eye here is that they have an 80% goal, but they're only hitting 52%. And the next year, 20, the last one measured is uh, 2019, excuse me, not measured, but reported. 
it's a 70% goal and a 59% um, achievement. What I love about this, and only in the federal government can you get away with this, is you set a goal of 80% in 2018, you miss it horribly, so you lower your goal, and then you get closer to it. And I bet you give yourself a good grade for it. Um, the, you know, <laughs> so that's me going off on my little soapbox. But I hate it when they do that. Just leave the goal at 80% so we can see what's going on. Um, so now they're bringing the goal back up to 75%. Um, it's much better to miss it so that we know how to fix it. Anyways, when you look at this, if you're in the cyber world or anything related to this, you can come in and figure out how can you start asking questions for those initial meetings you have? How can you start uh, designing solutions that can help them with whatever is causing them to miss this time frame that they, they want to hit for this measure? And so as you come down, you'll just see more of these um, factors in. And yes, it's important to track the fiscal years and the performance, but the first thing I would be doing at DHS, if I'm trying to get in there and be anything in the cyber world, is I would write each one of these measures down and they become great bullets for guiding conversations you have because you can see this is what management and leadership is measuring the organization on. Um, coming down here, so I talked about up there was the vulnerabilities. Here they, they have their own measures against management. How fast are we hiring people up? Um, you know, as you come down, you'll see strategic measures. So the percent of emergency communication interoperability components operating at the highest level. So how well are all of our um, agencies, state, local, federal, um, how is everybody doing on communicating among the various tools, components that they're using? So in, in here, this is amazing too, right? They have a 50% goal. They don't have a high expectation of hitting a lot right now. But look at this other goal, percent of calls by... Uh, users that DHS insured were connected, right? They've been tracking this since 2016 and they've been able to increase their performance, not just their target goal, but their performance year after year, they're, they're really improving. Um, and so, you know, you would expect five years out to begin to see the same thing for some of these other measures like this one up here. So identifying again, areas where you can help comes out of there. So you can see these measures. I'm not going to say every one. I did want to come down. This is great because as you see me scrolling through, I'm seeing all these goals, which are awesome, or, or measures. These are KPIs, key performance indicators, whatever you want to call it. But most importantly, this is what they're trying to get done. How can you help? One other thing in this document that um, I find really helpful is I can come down here and I see how are they spending money and where are they spending money? So here's um, some high level stuff that they're doing uh, that are in there, but something else caught my eye a little farther down. Where was it? I don't want to spend too long looking at it. Okay, here. Um, so the FY budget provides 1.8 billion in discretionary funding, including for this project, that project, and those projects, right? So here is cybersecurity efforts to protect all .gov domains. Um, here's another one for uh, to increase the resiliency of critical infrastructure. Right, 96 million there, 157 million here, um, 166 million there, 91 million for the National Risk Management Center. What is that? I never heard of that. I need to go in there and knock on the door, right? If you if you're not aware of it, um, 37 million for stakeholder engagement. And keep in mind, you don't have to be just cyber, right? You could look at something like this and say, I'm in communication and marketing, and that's part of um, stakeholder engagement. Could be facilitation if you're in that um, career field, et cetera. Uh, so just looking down here, here's $141 million for the cash drawer right, for, for us to support whatever activities we decide later. Um, as you look at this stuff, you can see where they're spending money and where you might be able to fit in. Now, this document, you're looking solidly in the middle of FY um, 2021, right? So we're solidly in this. Uh, it's, this is March 2021. But you're going to see this document come out in draft in the next few months. Um, for the next fiscal year. So you can start planning farther in advance for FY 2022. Um, so anyways, let me scroll back up here so you can just see it. Whatever your organization or target primary target um, agency is, go find their budget overview. And, and you got this congressional justification. You can get the executive summary. You can get the, um, which does a good job of getting rid of a lot of the tables and just leaving you the meat. Um, or like I do, I love going for the raw full document and then just scanning very fast to find what I want. But every single office, every single federal agency that's got any money worth spending has got one of these and um, they'll help you a lot. And then remember, make sure you're taking a look at the agency financial reports or 
annual audits, which are reflecting what did we do, where the, where the budget is saying, what are we going to do? So good luck with that. Go out there and, and start doing more of the homework on your primary agencies. If you found this content valuable, others will too. Please give it a thumbs up so they can find it. Um, if you'd like to connect with me personally, do so on LinkedIn. And anytime you have a question, feel free to just shoot me a question through LinkedIn. That's the best way. Um, we often do free training webinars and interview federal buyers. Sign up for the GovCon Chambers email list right here at www.govconchamber.com to be notified. And then finally, please consider becoming a sustaining member of the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Help us keep bringing you great content like this for a dollar a day. I'm Neil McDonald, wishing you great success.